we actually want to kill these bosses first. It's actually best to leave Misery alive so you can farm up hearts if you need them. But that's a big pain in the butt if you don't actually need to preserve your life. Which technically right now I don't. Whoa, let's get out of here. And you want to stay on the floor so Misery summons these Dragon Quest slimes and not evil, horrible bats. And I'm getting my face rocked by Karate Sue. Okay, Karate Sue is dead. Let's... I think I want to form up some parts, actually. Um. Oh, my booster is still downstairs. I keep forgetting that. That's no good. So this is going to be tricky, actually, getting around here. <sighs> no booster. You don't technically usually want to use all your missiles either. You want to save them for the last level, but... Now once you take Misery out, the battle's a little easier because you don't have to worry about her missiles and her monsters that she summons. But, you also lose the ability to restock hearts and things, so... It's kind of a trade-off. Oh, I ran out of machine gun power. Okay, now Misery's gone. Just enough experience bouncing around, residual experience from Misery to uh, get my machine gun up to level 3. That's awesome. Alright, I didn't even need my life potion. I just go ahead and nemesis everything to death. That's awesome. Beautiful! Ah. And I'm out of Pepsi. That was actually perfect timing. Don't you have, like, kids on the island still, lady? That's okay. We'll get out of here alive. How come Sue survived, but Taroko didn't? I don't know. Taroko was not made of tough enough stuff. That rhyme, then, was awesome. Much like the musical stylings of David Bowie. <laughs> Yeah, don't get crushed in this scene. That would be bad. Oh, it refilled my life. I didn't know it was... Does it do that if you... Like, that won't open because I don't have the booster. Okay, that made sense. I'm running as fast as I... There's no run button in this game. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, well, I can machine gun my way out. See you later. I got a hundred shots to get me as far away from this island as possible. So this is the conclusion of the first of the two parallel storylines. All the family got on the island, and some got thrown in the Mimigas, and this is how they escaped after defeating the Doctor. And all the parts of the island are now crumbling because I destroyed the core. And I'm a big fan of 8-bit cutscenes. Y'all know that already, I'm sure.
Massive explosion. Right on cue. But did I make it? What happened to me and Sue? Oh, well, there I am, falling with my Mimica mask. Upside down. Hooray! Saved by the coward! Happy ending after all. Well, I mean, quote, blew up with the island. That and all the, like, the natives and everything blew up. That's... Huh, we can't do nothing about that. I mean, I'm only one man, you know? I'm gonna reward myself with a Reese Cup. Now, the curly brace patch does not replace, quote, in the endgame cutscenes, and I'm not really sure why. They could, they could have just redrawn him, you know? I guess nobody wanted to do that much pixel work. And I love how every single, like, character in the game has a name and, like, a backstory going through the ending here. Like, every individual unique sprite. I don't know why the, the Mimigas quote was raising are called the Colons. And yes, all of Jenga's puppies have a name. I am a nurse, Nurse Hasumi. She was nice and helpful. Good old Grandpa Zet, who can forget him. And of course, the Shovel Brigade. That has to be my favorite picture, right there. With the dog just chilling on Quote's head, and the one in the background with the, uh, the wine glass. Awesome. And the Hermit Gunsmith, who we didn't get to uh, do anything with. Take the Polar Star to him. He gives you the Spur. The Spur's nice. We'll play with the Spur a little later. Uh, that's okay. And I've still got my Mimica Mask. Awesome. I think that te the only difference is it changes the, uh, I think it only changes a little bit of dialogue for Misery and the Doctor. I think that's really it. Mm. Sudden Chomper, Sand Croc. Yeah, you can go to hell. You can go straight to hell. That was supposed to sound angry, but I can't really sound angry while I'm eating a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. This is not possible. And these ones have actually been sitting on my desk for a little while, so they're like, just starting to melt, so they're like, kind of getting stuck to the... Like, the, the gooey parts are getting stuck to the wrapper. So you can't just take them out of the shell, you kind of have to lick them off of the wrapper and... Mm, good stuff. They're also really good if you put them in the freezer and they get rock hard. That's even better. Actually, I'm going to break the rest of these up into a milkshake as my celebration for completing Cave Story. Or, well, the first act of Cave Story. We've got more Cave Story to go because there's a different ending to get that we have to worry about. And apparently that is the undead core. That little red... I don't know what that looks like. Like, maybe throw a rope, guys? And haul us up? Huh. On to Grass Town. Yeah, that's my favorite song in the game. Uh, I think I was going to use that in my RPG Maker game at one point, way back in the day when I still worked on RPG Maker games. That was 2005. My goodness. But I couldn't find a decent MIDI file of it. That's how... <laughs> that's dating myself there. MIDI files. Who does anything with MIDI files anymore? Back in the day, man, I had, like, every video game soundtrack I owned was all in MIDI files, because they just took up less space. Cave Story, the end. And there's the cast of the game, full of that particular storyline, anyway. And there's the Mimica Mask ending. There's more endings, and more to do, and more Reese Cups, if you guys stay tuned. That was a half rhyme. That was okay. I'll give myself a C-minus on that. 